Are you confused over which epoxy to get? That's what I'm going to cover in this episode. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to talk about the various epoxies that we sell here at Apogee and which one that you might choose when you're doing a rocket project. Well, the first question everybody asks is, which is the strongest? To be honest, they're all strong enough. So anything you do with in rocketry, any of these epoxies that we sell is going to be strong enough. Um, I can guarantee almost any epoxy that you might buy anywhere else is going to be strong enough. So we're not worried about strength. The two variables that I like to think about with epoxies are the viscosity or how thin or thick it is and the cure time, how fast it takes to set up and get hard. So that's what we're going to really cover here and why you might want a thinner epoxy versus a thicker epoxy or something that cures fast or cures slow. So here at Apogee, currently we have five different types of epoxy. Um, first we have the, uh, it's called the double bubble. <laughs> um, and this is a five minute cure epoxy. Um, if you want something that's a little bit longer, we have a 15 minute cure epoxy from Bob Smith. Um, and then we get into the thicker stuff, um, the rocket epoxy which is this right here. It's, it's more like the consistency of peanut butter. Um, and then we have two um, really thick clay-like epoxies. We have the Fix-It epoxy and then the Bond Aid epoxy. So kind of uh, first, I'll kind of go over the, um, the thinner epoxies. So uh, the, the double bobble epoxy is a five minute epoxy and as you can see it comes in a very small pouch um, so this is good for like repairs on the launch site so if you bust a fin off of your rocket you know traveling to the launch field this would be a good repair so that you can get that rocket flying again and i'll go ahead and mix them up so i'm going to mix it right here on a sheet of plastic and I'm just going to tape it down to the table and get out some rubber gloves because it does get messy. Any epoxy is pretty messy except for maybe the, the paste or the, uh, the clay epoxies. Um, so this is um, a, a kind of, it's not a, like a laminating epoxy, like water thin. This is, it has some thickness to it but it will run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the end and there's an A part and a B part and I'm just going to fold them in half and just kind of squeeze them out here onto the table. You can see that it's, it's very thick, kind of like syrup and it does have an odor to it. It has that epoxy odor that we all know and hate. <laughs> um, so parts A and B are right there, and then you'll just take a mixing stick, and then you can mix them up. Now, this thin epoxy is also good for building rockets, uh, where you need a little bit of a working time to make sure that you have things positioned. Um, I did a, a video recently on um, how to glue in tube couplers with um, wood glue and the problem with wood glue is sometimes when you're sliding the couplers together you know they can get stuck halfway and how do you repair that well it's you know basically you almost have to tear the rocket apart um, with epoxy you have a lot longer working time and it doesn't grab like wood glue now you can see that this is kind of a, a you know, it's, it turns more white. And what that is is actually air bubbles that are mixed into the epoxy. Uh, when, it's, when it dries 
um, it's going to be almost clear. So this is the epoxy that has dried. And I don't know if you can see that here. Um, so that's what this looks like. And I like this, you know, in any liquid epoxy, like the double bubble, can be used for uh, building rockets, like putting in couplers, gluing in engine mounts, things along that nature. And I'm just spreading it around here. And if you have extra, you know, take the extra and put it inside of your tube, kind of smear it around. And I just grabbed the wet end. <laughs> so then you just slide it together and you'll notice that it's going to squeegee off a lot of the epoxy on the way out. And this is the messy part. Um, so you'll just take a paper towel and you'll wipe that off as you go along. So this is the, the double bubble. And like I said, this is really good for on the field repairs. Now, um, for building rockets, you know, making using little pouches like this is not very cost effective. So then you'll probably want to go and get um, this epoxy. This is a 15 minute cure epoxy. Let me get this out of the way. Um, and it has the same consistency as the double bubble, uh, but it has a longer working time. So it's like a 15 minute working time. And full cure is probably in about an hour. Um, our next up is the rocket epoxy. And I said, this is more like a paste. It kind of has the, the consistency of peanut butter. So it's real thick, you know, both, both sides are about the same consistency. Um, I like this for making fin fillets on rockets. Um, and I've gone, gone ahead and done an example of a rocket with, with different fin fillets. Um, so first, um, this right here, this fin fillet, is the double bubble epoxy. You can see it's nice and clear, has a nice smooth surface. And then this is the 15 minute cure epoxy from Bob Smith. Again, it's, it's very similar. Um, the only difference is the cure time. So if you need a, a longer working time, um, if you wanna do a lot of fin fillets at once, maybe the 15 minute is more your speed uh, because you have a longer working time. The downside of this is because it's more liquidy, it can run off. So if you have your rocket upwards, it's gonna all ooze down onto the table. So you have to do it, you know, you have to lay your rocket sideways and have a little valley like, like that where it will stay in place. So you're probably only gonna be able to do maybe one or two fins at a time and then rotate it around and do the next fin and rotate it around again. So you might need to do it three or four times. Um, with the rocket epoxy, which is this one right here, um, it stays in place a lot better so you can do all your fins at the same time. Um, and you can see again, it has a nice shiny finish. finish. Um, the difference between um, the, the thin viscosity and the thicker viscosity stuff is the, the edges. Um, if you look closely on the edges or this one right here, the edges feather out, which means that they they conform all the way into the parts. So if you just drag your finger along, you won't feel an edge as you come into the epoxy. Where you get into the thicker ones, you start feeling a little bit of an edge. And so you'll have to sand that edge off later on with some sandpaper. Um, our next one is the epoxy clays, and we have the Fix It brand, which is this right here. And you can see that this is very thick. And to mix it together, you just grab an equal glob, you know, an equal ball of each side, and just mix it together, and it will stay in place. 
um, when we have the the fix it epoxy and this is it, you probably have a working time of about an hour that's a long time so that allows you to really put on a lot of fins and they stay in place the bond aid I have one open right here is a tube and it has both parts the part a and part b are in the, in the tube and when you're ready to um, mix them up you just take your knife and you cut off a piece and there's a little plastic liner on this so you have to peel that off as well so that's on the outside so here, here's the little plastic liner and I can mix this up and I'll, I'll show you this will mix up and it will be mostly white it's kind of like an off-white once it's mixed where this stuff is gray and Let's just mix it up here real quick. This stuff, this Bond-Aid, cures in five minutes. So your working time is probably like two minutes. So you have to be very quick with this, where with the Fix-It, you can work a lot longer. You got about an hour's worth of working time before it gets too stiff to be able to conform to what you're trying to do. Well, once you get a uniform color, then you know that the epoxy is thoroughly mixed. And um, this Bond-Aid, you'll also feel the chemical reaction. It will start to get warm. And then once it starts getting warm, you know you got to work really quick because it's going to be hard really fast. Um, the nice thing about this is you can, you can sculpt it or shape it to anything that you want. Um, again, to do a fillet, okay, so here's a fillet of the uh, Bond-Aid, and it's rock hard. Um, again, it has an edge to it, a little lip, because it doesn't feather out very nicely. Um, and then on this side, we have the Fix-It. And again, this is, if you have, if you need working time for like fin fillets, I would use the Fix-It, um, where if you, on this, I probably wouldn't use this to make fin fillets because the working time is just too fast. Um, to smooth it out, you got to work really quick. And when you're working really quick, you're, you're never getting a nice smooth surface. Um, and again, you're going to have to sand that down later. Um, I like this stuff for anything on the inside of the rocket where you don't care about what the appearance looks like. Uh, because of that, um, you know, anything on the outside, fix it. Anything on the inside, the Bond-Aid. Because um, I don't like to wait a long time either. You know, I want my, my rocket to be done quickly. Um, okay, so one last thing. Um, I want to look at the cured epoxy once it's hard. So this I made up yesterday, the double bubble. Um, and I just peeled it off of the plastic. It doesn't, nothing sticks to polyethylene. That's the problem with polyethylene. But um, this stuff, you can see I can, I can bend it. It's not like super um, brittle. So this works really good for... Um, couplers or things, you know, because you 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 have a tube and the tube is always can be squished. Um, so this stuff will allow flexibility later on, and it's, it's the same with the Bob Smith brand. And let's see, where's I got a Bob Smith right here? So this is the Bob Smith. Again, um, you can peel it off. Um, this is a little bit more brittle. Um, actually, I like that better because um, it's easier to sand. Um, when, you're, when you're doing double bubble, sanding the double bubble, it's, it's kind of like gummy. Um, this stuff, I, I do like a brittle epoxy. That, gives, that tells you it's nice and strong. Um, okay, so here is some rocket epoxy. And again, this is very strong. Uh, you can see it's a lot thicker because it stays in place. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't wet out like water would. Um, so that is the rocket epoxy. 
And this little small piece is the Bond Aid. You can see it's nice and hard. And then finally, we have the Fix It brand. Again, nice and hard. Okay, so that is our discussion of epoxies. Again, the two main things are the viscosity or how thick it is and the cure time. Pretty much all epoxies will work, uh, but it's using the best epoxy for the conditions that you're trying to achieve. Um, so I hope that answers your questions about epoxy. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.